Hello world, I'm Conrad from Mound here with a really cool design for a uh, pulse strength controller that can be may run and automated by other redstone devices. So normally you would use like a lectern for this and just slap a comparator down, but uh, you know, a uh, your machine can't uh, flip a page in a comparator but it can run this thing. You may notice it looks similar to a certain design of a toggle flip-flop because it does actually work similarly. In that design, you have a repeater here instead and you have a button that you press and it'll cycle an item from being either here to here and then back. Uh, and so if it's here, you're taking your output. And if it's over here, you're obviously not, so you don't. And so it just can turn stuff on and off like a toggle flip-flop does. Here, we have a little different. Instead of one input, we actually have two. And instead of one button that is cycling one item, we actually have 16 in here. So if I hit this a couple times to empty it, we can show it uh, a few more. There. Uh, we have 15. There's one more in there. Uh, you have to stack it. You have an item that stacks 16. I'm using snowballs. You could also use like I was using ender pearls earlier. Anything that can stack like that. Now, how this works is we do need to specifically use this decorated pot, or I guess in this case, this undecorated pot, but you can't use like a chest or anything because what it does is it will fill this pot uh, with, in this case, snowballs. And each snowball that is put in this will correlate to one increase in signal strength. So if I put in two, that should be activating. Oh, I put stuff in. Rip. There you go. Now I can drop these two in. There you go. Uh, you can see it activated twice, and it has a signal strength of two. For each time I hit this, it'll drop in another snowball to activate another torch. Now, there's a hopper under here to draw them out. Notably, you have to hold it locked, because if we just got rid of this redstone torch, it would empty it. It's not very useful. So what we're instead doing is let's fill it up a little bit again, is we're constantly powering it, except when we want to draw a single item out, we put in a two tick pulse into the torch, which cause it to flash off for just long enough for a single item to pass through. And thus, each time we hit it, one item flows through. Uh, the hoppers need to be pointing in to their respective containers. This hopper needs to be pointing in here, while this hopper needs to be pointing in here. The, the, the way it works is that the hopper will draw it out here and then immediately place it here so that we can activate this to push it up. And then when it's in this hopper, it immediately puts it in here, which is where we're, of course, reading it. Now, the reason that we're ha we have to use a decorated pot is because a decorated pot has only one container slot. Whereas if we were to use something like, let's say, a chest, uh, or I guess we'll use a trap chest here, it has all of these spots. And so to draw out a comparator signal of even just two, like how many stuff do we need to put in? That's, I'm not sure if that's two or not, but if we just have two items, that's not going to give us a signal strength of two. So by using a single slot here, yeah, you can see this one's off. By having one with just a signal slot, we're able to very tightly control how much power is in very efficiently. Now, because there are, it stacks 16, while maximum power redstone is actually 15, uh, there is a specific point that one snowball does not increase the power. This happens at around, I think it was eight. So if I hit this a couple times, there will eventually be one time I hit it, and one of those torches will not turn off. And it's this one? Yes. No. All right, you see there, I did it twice to turn off one. So that is when it happens. So... If you're using this, you need, to, you need to keep that in mind, but otherwise it's perfect. Uh, I'm not going that high as well, so I don't need to handle it um, because this only is gonna go up to like five, I think, signal strength. Um, if you really needed to, you could probably draw like a negative signal out of here or the inverse, I mean, uh, and then have something happen on the falling edge of that um, torch. And so you'd still be able to detect it, but that's all pretty manageable, and this thing's pretty great because while I'm activating it manually with these, you know, note blocks, you could hit this to like say a daylight sensor if you wanted to do it every day or whatever other machine you wanted to use this for. 
Uh, I'm specifically going to be hitting it with walls um, because I'm hoping to have a computer that can sort of program our display. Um, I'll see how well that works out. I'm not great with computational redstone, so that may take a while. But in the meantime, this thing's pretty great. Also, veteran viewers of the channel may notice that this is actually very similar to another system that I've used uh, where I have two droppers facing into each other like this, each with a, uh, a one that's just a single slot. I used this in an earlier version of my uh, TNT cannon, my battle cannon that can like aim and stuff, which this thing was very useful. Um, I eventually did stop using it because I needed more than 15 signal strength. Uh, but that's not the reason why I'm not using it here. The reason I'm not using it here is because uh, I need this to be one signal strength per thing. And this does two usually. So I'm getting it the wrong way. So you can see that activated two. This one should be also two, then one, then two more, then one, then two, and so on. Uh, so that's why I needed this system because every time you hit this, it activates one power, one power, one power, or in the other direction. Uh, whereas this will usually activate two, but occasionally one. So that's why I'm not using this, but I'm quite proud of this thing. So I do hope you enjoyed. I uh, hope you found this useful. Um, let me know if you find specific uses for this. I'm of course, as I mentioned, using it for the pixel. That video will be linked when it's out, etc. cetera. Uh, but I hope you can find, there should be plenty of uses for this thing because you can, you can have very precise control over what the signal strength is to activate different things without actually having to run the machine yourself with like say a lectern because you can just have your machine do it. Um, but yeah, that is all I have for that is all I have for today. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and again, leave in the comments if you find a super cool use for this. I'd love to hear about it. But uh, that is all. Bye.